Hey, and welcome back to the Anything Goes Project. I'm driving right now, so I'm not going to be looking directly at the camera. Uh, I've got a couple of little projects we're going to do today, and then we might go out and do some a little slingshot, uh, some can blinking and targets and stuff like that. So today's video is going to be kind of a mix of a couple of different things. I've got somebody that ordered a uh, custom lanyard for one of their uh, fishing rigs that they've got. It's for one of their offshore uh, fishing poles. But they wanted a lanyard that they could clip into the carriage or whatever the hell that thing is that's on the bottom of it. Uh, made a paracord so that way they could strap it in when it's inside of the whatever it is that they fish with to keep it from getting pulled out. So anyways, I've got that job to do today. So I might get some video footage of me working that as well as going outside talking slingshots and shooting a few cans uh so let's jump right into it i guess searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh I see the aimless, I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring yeah. Just want a life that is worth every day exploring yeah. Okay, I had to make a quick pit stop because I'm starving Okay, yeah, one of the things that I've talked about in the past about hiking and camping and our mental health, but we also need to start concentrating on our physical health. Well, I watched some of my videos and I'm like, damn, put on a little Rona rate, R Rona weight. Yeah, so uh, I'm doing something about it. I've decided to uh, cut out all my carbonated or not carbonated, but because I still drink mineral water, but uh, caffeinated and sweetened drinks and stuff like that, which also meant I got rid, I gave up my coffee. So instead I've just been having green tea in the mornings. And uh, by cutting out a lot of the carbs, sugar and stuff like that, it's actually been doing pretty good. Uh, so for one week, I've lost three pounds. So I was starving rather than since I'm in my vehicle, what do we always do when we're in our vehicles and we're out doing stuff? We're like, hey, I'll just swing by Chick-fil-A or McDonald's or Sonic or Whataburger or something like that. No, nope. I decided I was going to do something a little different today. I went ahead and picked myself up a chef salad. So I'm going to eat that in my car before I go doing my errands. Uh, I've got to go meet my son for a few minutes and uh, we'll get some stuff taken care of. And then we're going to jump right into the video. So there we go. Okay, so nice salad. Great day. Man, I think this is going to be awesome. I do. I, I actually do enjoy salads. Yeah. So... Car EDC. Keep yourself a set of plastic forks and stuff in here. But yep, watching our health. So, here we go. We're back. Made a uh, made one myself one the other day. Uh, you know, you saw the one that nephew was shooting. Well, uh, I found an odd shaped little crook in uh, one of the red oaks, so I decided to make myself. A small little like flipper it's little bitty i mean you can see it by my fingers it's a little bitty it's a little bitty dude uh got a can hanging from a tree over oh, somewhere over there uh, so i'm gonna take a couple shots at it flick at it just have a little fun i'm gonna run inside and i'll work on some other stuff so just gotta have some fun I missed. Cars are going by, so I'm careful not to be drawing or shooting whenever the cars are going by. Damn. Almost a little bit to the right. I haven't shot this thing yet. All right. Let's see if we got this now. Quit moving. And of course, it's moving. It's a little windy out here too. 
Three shots. Oh my God, I missed three times. What the fuck? There we go. Now we're back on it. Heard that little nice little clink. It's also going back and forth like this with the wind. So, right now it's pretty still. I mean, literally right there by it. I was just shooting with these little bitty forks. It was a little bit easier. It's a little bit not easier. It's a little, uh, it's a little different than the big forks. That thing is the size of my damn thumb. Now, some of you guys out there are pro really proficient shooters. I mean, I just recently got started back into slingshots about a few months ago, and. I used to shoot them when I was younger for archery competitions and everything, and it's kind of hard to do archery out here where I'm at because uh, I end up sending an arrow through a chicken or something. I just, I just haven't done archery in years, but slingshots, those are fun. Always have been, so I'm trying to get back into practice again. Uh, my shooting technique and everything has been good. It's very similar to archery, and I've been having a blast with it. There's a car, so let's wait for a second. Another car. Plant traffic coming through. Oh, come on, you little shit. All right, here we go. Last one. And this one's going to be a dead one. Oh, I hit the string. <laughs> hit the string that's right above the can holding it at least i know i'm in center with the center lining is just getting my up and down with this one there we go now we're getting back on it two shots out of five ain't bad all in an area if i was shooting at a, at a rabbit or something i would at least hit it so all right guys again this one's made out of red oak I'm using the natural latex bands. Uh, work really good and got a nice little pocket on it. Uh, oh, it's, it this one is strictly, you can see, I I cut the grooves in it, the little band grooves in it to where this one is strictly gonna be an, an OTF and over the top. And uh, yeah, yeah, put a little lanyard on it and a bead. Uh, it's tiny. This would be good for a kid, but I made it for myself to kind of kind of just keep in my pocket and take with me if I want to go somewhere. and shoot and look at me I'm stringing it up again because I need to shoot again sucker's got some kick on it though that thing is sending those little clay balls pretty good I think I made these bands a little bit shorter than I normally do boom there we go so let's go inside let's get some paracord and done Okay, so we're sitting in the living room because one, the house is quiet. That is a rarity around here. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be making a neck lanyard with a night eyes locking S beaner. I love these things because the locks on them are really good, but this would also be a good, a good thing for making the neck lanyard so you can have this on it so you can drop your keys on it uh, flashlight whatever if you're out and about and you don't want to lose something so these little s beaners are perfect and you can pick up a set of four for like four bucks they're not that expensive and obviously your roll of paracord today we're going to go with a patriotic paracord yeah, red, white, and blue. There we go. This was sent to me. This is some really cool paracord here. So what we're going to need first is you're going to need your scissors and your lighter. And if you happen to have it, your your knotter's tool. That This is a knotter's tool. You can pick this whole setup with the needles and knotter's tool, and you can hear the needles are on the inside of it. Uh, you can pick this whole set up on Amazon for about 12 bucks, especially if you're going to be getting into paracording, because this 
this is this works wonderful especially for when you're uh, burning your ends of your paracord use the knurled part to kind of flare it out instead of your finger like you always see me doing and it burns like hell yeah okay so that's what we're going to be doing so first thing you're going to we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our lengths well we know this is about how mm, let's go a little bit longer let's say lanyard about right here okay that's the end of the lanyard so we need enough to throw a nice little braid in on this. So I'm going to give myself about that much right there. It's not a, it's not a 100% melt my tip and do exactly what I said not to do just now. Okay, so that's one. Now, let me get this tip melted. Okay, I'm gonna line up my ends. Oh, straighten up. There we go. Put that there. And end to end. Okay, so that makes my ends even. And then just burn both ends. So one end on your paracord is all frayed out. So nice little paracord pile there. All right, so now I'm going to take both of my ends. Okay, we got it good. We're good and even all the way down. I'm gonna take my little S beaner right here. And I'm gonna put one through this way and one through this way. And that's just to kind of keep it evened out. And then I'm going to pull myself some cordage down. Let's say right about little bit more all right so now you take your longer pieces and we're just gonna tie the simple cobra knot and that's the let me turn this around so I'm bringing it to me so if you remember how we did that I'm gonna go ahead and start the first one and then I'll readjust the camera and show you exactly what I mean. Get this first one tied off real quick. So, yeah. All right, so we're gonna turn the camera around so you can see what's going on. Okay, we got the start of our Cobra knot. So basically, all I'm going to be doing is tightening this part up and then coming back. Remember, you go under it and then through the back side. And then you just take and cinch it up with your fingers like this. Now that we're on this, now everything should be good and tight. And now, your, your, this one right here has now moved from this side to this side. So we're going to carry this one back across and go up through the middle. And now it's on this side. So it, you want a flat braid you kind of need to alternate and follow it and just remember it's this one this knot right here if you look at it where is it at you can see it's coming up through it this one is coming up from the back side and whenever i tie the next knot that's going to be like that on this side so this is how you look to see how you're alternating and making sure you're doing it correctly so you can kind of see now tighten it now this one's coming up from the back side and this one's actually coming up. So we're gonna take over. And now we got a nice little start. It's good and flat. Kind of see that right there? It's a good flat knot, and that's called a cobra knot. Now, real close. 
This one, lay it across the front, like that. This one, over the top of this leg. Go back around, and then up through this hole. And then just pull your extra through. And then you just kind of cinch it up with your fingers and get it where you want it. It's that simple. So let's drop back. Anywho, these are good knots for you guys to learn because they can, they, they can be used for so many things and get you out of so many binds if you're in, in a bind. These are just some of your basic knots. I've shown you the cobra knot before. Uh, I've shown you the snake knot. Uh, there's a, a double snake ball knot. Uh, there's all kinds of knots. Uh, and I'm not the expert on paracord knots. If you want a good channel, I think it's called, yeah, Weavers of Eternity. Go check out that guy's stuff. He's got some badass projects that you can do with paracord. I'm going to show you some of the basic stuff that you can do for survival situations. And that that's pretty much what I'm going to be do, using it for. Uh, like the net that I made for my bottle the other day. I made a bottle net where it encapsulates my insulated bottle and I can hang it up inside of my vehicle, hang it from one of my backpacks while I'm hiking, or if I happen to be at a campsite uh, where I'm going to be laying down camp for the evening, uh, I can hang it from a tree or hang it from the inside of my tent or my hammock. Uh, it, was, it was just a really cool project. I'll show it to you before we get everything wrapped up. But right there. basically what I made right here a uh, little sliding cobra knot to cinch it up works great for hanging it from whatever you need to I've hung it up inside of my Bronco uh, and you can see I can hang it up on the side of my backpack so there you go it's a good idea to do some of the little projects and uh, so there showed it to you okay see we're just I'm just continuing to carry it down. This is super fun. Now we're going to keep on going with it. Once you get into the habit of it, I mean, you're literally, I'm sitting here talking to you and I'm kind of not even paying attention because it's becoming second nature how to tie these things. I'm doing it the whole time I'm talking to you. But it is fun. Uh, some interesting little projects. Okay, so I think I over did my length but anyways like that and then got, I can either put a sliding knot on the back of it or I can do just a knot like a regular or a breakaway knot uh, that's something that you could do if you're in a situation where you don't want to have to worry about it gagging you and choking you to death a breakaway knot would work but anyway so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this tight pull this one tight that one tight. I'm gonna cut this off. Now take my knotter's tool. And just take and just kind of rub it on there like that. And it presses it in, kind of gives it a little bit of into the other material. So you don't have to worry about it coming untied on you. So. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's not going to be coming undone. And you've got the option, if you want, to take your carabiner off. I uh, don't see any reason not to, or to take the carabiner off. I mean, leave it on. So, we've got our nice little lanyard. Go around your neck. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and do a double sliding knot. So, I'm just going to take this end right here. And I'm going to come around once and then tuck it back under this side. 
and then pull it tight. So you can kind of see how that is right there. Well, now I can slide it up and down. So now this side right here. So what I'm going to do is pull myself some slack so I can have something to work with. And now to do a, to do that knot, take a start out with a small little loop. Just take and go around one time. Get yourself over there and then go back up. Need a little bit more material here. Around one time like that where it looks like you got two and then go back up through the loop and then just kind of cinch it up tight. And if you got the end of your paracord burned like that, it works kind of as a cinch to hold it in place. So now look. So that's how you would adjust your length on it. So set it wherever you want it, set it and forget it. There we go. Nice little keychain paracord. Uh, let me see, do I have something I can put on it? Yeah, I can clip like whatever you want to. You know, it's locked right now. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm doing that, I could, whatever. Anywho, like I said, this was just gonna be a random video today. We did a little bit of shooting, did a little bit of paracording, and this evening I have another one that I've gotta do. It's gonna be a bigger one. I'm working on, I've gotta take a pretty good size two inch carabiner. Uh, and work on a full lanyard loop that's going to have an 8 inch length, but it's going to have 16 inches of loop going around. And part of it's going to be like this, and then it's going to loop off all the way around it. It's going to have the carabiner at one end. And uh, that is for a for one of the guys that I know, his uh, saltwater fishing rig. This is actually going to clip into the real mechanism on his fishing rod so he can drape that paracord over the attachment that keeps it from coming out of the reel holder. Uh, so he doesn't have to worry about chasing the reel off into the ocean. So I'm gonna do that for him here in a little bit. So let's jump over to the next thing. All right, so next thing, it is hot. It is a hot, humid day. That's all I've got to say about it. I've been outside shooting already. I've gone to town, run my errands, and braided this cool little lanyard with a key ring, with a Nitize brand carabiner on it. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead and drop this off with uh, what's in my pocket. You know, I, guys, I always harp about uh, carrying some essentials like your lighter. Well, I, I always keep my lighter in my pocket. Pocket knife. Uh, I think today I'm using the bug out. This is the 535 Benchmade bug out. I got really super smooth action on it. Got a nice little ceramic beads on it. But your wallet. Uh, minimal. I, I've really gotten to where I like the minimal wallets. I don't like the big trifold wallets where you just got a bunch of shit stuffed in them all the time. Uh, Chums makes these nice little wallets. I got a little lanyard key ring thing on it so you can do that. And they got all kinds of little zipper pockets on it. And that's what I really like about it. Because you can use it for carry your EDC in. Well, I've got my cards inside of there. On that pocket. ID in the front part. In the little clear plastic part. And then on this side over here. I've got. Got some cash in there. Throw some change in there. It's also got this neat little pocket on the back side. And then this neat little pocket on the back side. I've got my SOG power pint. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then also my Olight. This is the uh, i3 EOS. And when I pulled my Olight out, I dropped my pin. I also have a bolt action pin in there. So let's grab that a small little O-pin. This is the uh, bolt action O-pin from Olight. Uh, super fidgety, great little pin. And the uh, refills are super cheap on Olight's website. Half the time they give them to you free at, during uh, during certain sales and stuff. That's how I got my refills for free. So, uh, boom, there you go. Look at that. Everything fits in that. This can literally... I wear cargo pants, okay? I'm not ashamed to say I wear cargo pants. Everybody can kiss my butt if they don't like them. Uh, fits in my cargo pocket. 
drops down into my front pocket. If I'm wearing jeans, I can slip this in my back pocket and my front pocket or wherever. Get in my car, just toss it in the center console. It's literally everything I need to actually carry with me to make it through the day. I got my pen, flashlight, multi-tool, money, ID, cards, and then the, the stuff you carry around in your pocket. That's it. Bug out and then a flashlight or a lighter. So with that, guys, if you like what you saw today, like I said, this is just just hit the subscribe button. Help us out here. Uh, a lot of people are subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm going to do a more in-depth, uh, just plain old shooting uh, video here pretty soon. So with that, subscribe, like, share the channel. We're out of here.